Hello and welcome to White Horse Music TV! <laughs> my name is Richard Bodiner and I'm co-owner of this wonderful shop with my lovely wife Michelle Bodiner, who's not here today unfortunately. The music stand is holding the camera. So um, today I am doing a video for Johnny who's interested in Gliga violins particularly, but not, you know, doesn't have to necessarily be um, Gliga violins. So I happen to have a couple of different Gliga violins to show him and one other imposter, which is not a Gliga violin. It's not really an imposter, it's just another violin. I shouldn't call it an imposter. Anyway, let's move along. Um, so the first one that I am going to show Johnny and show everyone else, so everyone else can decide whether Johnny should get it or not, this, my friends, is a Gliga One Violin. In Australia it's called a Gliga One Violin. They have not different names for Gligas overseas. We have an unusual naming system, but this is a Gliga One. Gliga sort of start at Gliga Three model in Australia, uh, which is the sort of more basic quality of wood and workmanship, and then goes up to the Gliga Two, which is dramatically better in terms of wood and workmanship and varnishing and just finish overall incredibly different to the Gliga 3 and then Gliga 1 which once again uses better quality wood from the Carpathian Mountains um, made in Romania and they always seem to have this very sort of like matte finish the Gligas and they, they have quite a sort of mellow matte look and they often sound quite mellow and relaxed as well. This one has been set up by myself with all of these violins. We've made the, the French bridge and made a new sound post inside and put on good quality strings and planed the fingerboard so it's smooth all the way up and refitted the pegs and lowered the nuts. Done lots and lots of work to it, a couple of hours of work. Um, and yeah, we're quite obsessive about the setup and it makes quite a bit of a difference to the sound. So that has been done to that one and the other ones I'm about to show you. Now this next one is a Gliga Professional. Well, like we call it a Gliga Professional. <laughs> it's a very difficult naming system because this guy actually inside the label says Gliga Vasil. Gliga Vasil, um, which all we really need to know is that it's the next step up from a Gliga 1 in terms of quality of wood and quality of workmanship. It is a dramatic difference from the Gliga 1. So the Gliga 1 um, is always a certain sort of like um, sheen of the varnish. It's quite sort of like matte finish. Often the Gliga Professional is a little bit more shiny, a little bit more highly polished similar style of varnishing but then highly polished at the end although this one is only a tiny bit more polished than the Gliga one um, interestingly the arching like from a violin maker's perspective it's quite you know stark a stark difference like the um, how much of a rise there is from the side of the body up to the towards the bridge in the wood the arching is more pronounced in the Gliga professional it is a better made creature and the scroll is much better done as well. Um, not that that necessarily matters to someone who's not obsessed with violins like myself. But it is a different violin and often they sound deeper and stronger. You know, the, the Gligas sometimes, like they're often very mellow and relaxed and a little bit soft. Sometimes the Gliga professional can have that mellowness and softness but also have some strength and brightness as well. So quite a different creature. And speaking of different creatures, this guy, the imposter, how dare you come and be in a Gliga video. This is a um, Paganini vintage violin. And notice this antiquing around here. This is a new violin. They're made to look old. It's a copy of a Stradivarius. It's made to look like it's been alive for several hundred years. Um, it's made in China, so not in Romania like the other two. Some of the you know, teachers these days are saying to their students, go and get a Chinese made violins because the top level Chinese violins are incredible. And this is no exception. All right, now we need to try the imposter. How dare you be in a Gliga video? 
you are a Paganini vintage violin. So you see how it's got this beautiful antiquing around here? It's just to make it look like it's a very old violin, 300 year old violin. It's a copy of a Stradivarius and they do a great job with the antiquing, making it look beautiful. So Paganini is a, a brand that we've had for a little while now. They're, um, we've you know, probably had them for a couple of years. We've had Gliga for about 20 years, so quite a while. But um, it's sort of one of those ones made in China that um, use really amazing hand work for their price range. You know, we have some teachers now who send students in and say, get a high level Chinese made violin, where they never used to say that, they used to say, get a European violin. Because, you know, when I went to China a while back, I, um, you know, was stunned with some of the making, just incredible quality of making for the price range. And also there's some pretty not so good ones. I reckon they represent the very worst and the very best of violin making. This particular one is a very tasty uh, violin in its price range. So Paganini Vintage will give this one a go as well. play a little bit longer on that G string because it's very deep and vibrant. It's quite different to the Gligas. I would say the Gliga 1 definitely is the, the softest in terms of volume. Still reasonable volume but just sort of like soft and it's really just chilling out on a beach in Hawaii or something like that just having a margarita or whatever you do when you're in Hawaii. Um, and then the Gliga Professional definitely bigger sounding uh, bolder, a little bit angrier, slightly, but um, still with that mellow sort of sound. And the Paganini, more sort of like, it's possibly louder again, and more bright and vibrant, but very deep down the bottom. So what I'm going to do now is I'll, I'll play them one after another without talking on and 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 on between each one. All right, I'll start with the Gliegel one. Gliga Professional. Definite difference in volume. Okay, so Paganini Vintage. come up with these weird tunes anyway so the there were like the the differences even stood out more without me talking on and on and on between each one um, definitely there was a big difference in volume when I went from the Gliga 1 to the Gliga professional and possibly a little bit more depth down the bottom as well and then when I went to the Paganini vintage it was um, an explosion of even more volume um, but not quite the mellowness and reservedness of the Gligas, um, possibly a little bit more ring to the sound off the top. Um, 
You know, I would definitely find people who would prefer the Gligas and other people who would prefer the Paganini. You know, trained professionals. Everyone has a different opinion. Please express your opinion down below. Tell Johnny which one that he should buy. And um, hopefully he will buy all of them. Thanks for watching. Bye.